Hey everyone, this is Raj Gupta, your program chair for the 2019 Azra Spring Meeting. I wanted to show you a couple of things about the Event Pilot app that you should definitely get for the meeting because it'll have uh, incredible functionality for you and save you a bunch of time. So download the app from the App Store, whether it's on uh, iOS or on Android, and it's called Event Pilot. You're going to load up the app, and if you don't have the correct meeting, You'll actually, it'll give you an option to search for the meeting name, and it's Azra Spring 19, and you want to load up that profile. A couple of things that's really important to do on here. Under networking, you should log in with your Azra username and password, and that way you can get direct contact to a lot of the people that will be at the meeting. Whoever's logged in, you can reach out to them directly, even if you don't have their phone number. And then you want to make sure that you fill out your calendar because that's a great way to keep track of where you want to be at any given time. There's so much stuff going on. We want to make sure you're at the right places. So if you go to program by track or program by day, you can find out a great list of all the events going on. So, for example, if I'm going to go and make sure that I'm at the things I want to go to, first off is I want to go to the registration. So I go to the registration and I can add this to my calendar. So I'll hit the little plus button next to the calendar icon and that gets added to my calendar. I can also go through and go to, let's say the refresher course in the morning. If I hold and add that, that'll get added to my calendar as well. And then if I say that, oh, I need to go to this ask the experts session, I can hold and it gets added to my calendar. So I don't even have to hit that plus button. I can just kind of hold on to it for one second. Let's say you want to make sure you attend a certain moderated poster session. Let's look at this first, this second one here. And I want to see what kind of topics are going to be covered. You can kind of go through. You can even see the PDFs of the paper. So if I wanted to look at this one and read the PDF of the poster itself, it'll load up. If I want to read the specific abstract, I can read the abstract by just clicking on the paper and I can get all the abstract information here and read that ahead of time. And then if I want to put that on my calendar, I just had add that to my calendar. So this is a great way to go through and include it in this as workshops. So let's say I have scheduled to go to this workshop. I can do that. I can uh, decide that I have to go to a certain PBLD and so I will add that to my program and I can keep going down and there's other stuff down here too including special events so if I wanted to make sure I made it to a SIG meeting a special interest group meeting that's on here too I can add that to my calendar if I wanted to make sure I made it to the reception on Thursday night I can add that to my calendar and let's say I was uh, planning on going to one of the Azra Let's Eat dinners. So I can click on that and click on the calendar event and now all of that's in my calendar. Now if I look at my schedule down here, I can see the stuff that's actually in my calendar that I've selected. I can also see that certain things are in conflict with each other and I can decide, okay, I'd rather be at a specific session at that time rather than something else. Or maybe I'll decide that I'm going to go to one session, but I'm going to be watching Twitter and see what people are saying from a different session because I kind of want to be learning both things at the same time. This is a great way to kind of get everything all put together. You can do that for Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Or you can even go right here on the calendar and you say I want to click on uh, a certain thing like this Excellence in Azra Awards Luncheon and add it there. And when you go back, it's highlighted. Lots of different ways to set this up. That's one of the main key things I want you to use the app for. Second thing I want you to use, if you go back to the home screen, is this meeting top 10. And in the meeting top 10, there's some really critical information like where the venue is, more details about the app, where you can get materials, how to use the Wi-Fi at the meeting, which is really important. Um, when registration times are, I want to highlight something on here. Wednesday from 4 to 6 p.m. We really want everybody to get registered in, get all your materials, 
on Wednesday evening if you can. That's so important because then you don't have to worry about the lines on Thursday morning and you're going to miss some of the sessions early in the morning if you're too late uh, getting checked in. So come Wednesday, 4 to 6 p.m., we want you there that evening to check in. Where the exhibit halls are and what we're going to be having, uh, when those are going to be open to uh, attendees to get in, all the information about where and how to deal with the PBLDs, the workshops, and any special event tickets, information about the abstracts and posters, and then making sure you get your CME certificates. So lots of good information there. Last thing I want to show you is right from the app, if you want to, you can post to Twitter, and it'll automatically get the hashtag there. And if you go back, you can share a photo directly from here. You can take a photo or use one that you've already taken. It's a quick way to post onto social media from the app itself. Lots of great ways to use the app. I want you to use it. All right, last thing I'm going to tell you. There's a cool thing that you can do in the app that you may not have seen before. If we go into a session and we're actually in the talk and we see who's going to be talking, there's a little chat right here that's just for this session. So this can be a public commentary, public conversation happening, a forum that can be happening just about this lecture, internal to the people that are having a conversation about this lecture. That might be a fun way to interact with people too. You can also click on the location so you can see exactly where a session is going to be, where you need to go in, and how to get there. And then you can also email this to somebody or text message, say, hey, I'm going to be at this session. Can you join me? Lots of different ways to use this information. Please download the Event Pilot Meeting app, load up the Azra Spring 19 profile, and start putting your schedule together. We'll see you guys next week.